Hi, welcome to Technical Dad. I'm Mark. This week we're going to be looking at the church and churchyard and doing some scenics around it. This is the corner I'm going to locate my church in. I've got a skull cast church here. That's going to go about there. And I'm going to use the skull cast walls, which I've painted, weathered, put some greenery on them to define the churchyard. I've got some gravestones from Jumble Lane Printing, which I've painted up. I've used some enamel paints for these. I've just given them one coat so it makes them look a bit aged. I've also got some of the gravestones from Scale Model Scenery, which I've just done some grey washes over uh, to give a bit of colour to them. So I'll be putting them around as well. Now, when you're uh, putting a church on your layout, uh, traditionally churches follow uh, an east-west direction, being that the altar will be facing east. So we've got to imagine this is in an east-west orientation, which then tells us which way the graves need to go. They also go in an east-west orientation. Now traditionally this is because in Christian churches the deceased are buried, so they're facing east. Now in some churchyards where they can't bury them in that uh, orientation. Uh, they can do a north-south orientation. And what they would have done there is the deceased would actually have been led on their side, so they were still facing east. So there's a bit of useless information for you. So what I'm going to do now is take all this stuff off. I have, as you can see here, just put down a layer of scatter. So I put down a layer of PVA, put the scatter over, now I just need to vacuum off the excess. Then I'll define the churchyard roughly where I want it with the walls. And then I'm going to put a bit of, uh, over this side here, I'm going to put some static grass, long static grass. And then I'll put the church in place, start putting the walls around, um, put the graves in place, add a few flowers and bushes and a couple of trees. So we'll get started on that. I'm going to use my ballast vacuum I've done a video on last week. I'll link that down below. This is from Brexit Hill West. But it can also be used for this sort of thing of vacuuming up scatter. Now you can see it's collected up the scatter in the bottle so I can reuse it. A lot simpler than using the old stocking over the end of the vacuum cleaner. So it's about here where I want the church and the wall. So this area here I'm going to use static grass to give it an overgrown look and a couple of bushes and trees. So I'm going to take the church away. Just put that down there just to define that area so when I spray on now the static grass goes on there. So I'll just go and prepare the grass and the spray glue. Right, I think we're good to go. I've got my layering spray. I'll give that a good spray. And then I have my static grass applicator. This is War World Scenics. And I'm using some of their four mil grass to start with. So this is 4 mil spring. There's a base layer in. Now we get some different grass. All right, we're going to use uh, 6 mil dead grass. So again, layering spray. Remember, use this in a well ventilated room. Make sure your track power is off as well. This is actually quite hard to do because I've got to reach right into the corner. So now you can see how it adds some definition there with the different lengths and various colors. 
Now we're going to go with some 6ml Wild Meadow. One of the secrets of static grass is to build it up slowly in layers. There we go. So there we can see the grass now. The three different colours in there. Yeah, it's a good bit of variation. It looks more like a, a natural field. Um, so now I'm going to go put the walls in place, put the church in place, and then we'll look at what other scenics to do. That's the wall in. It's just stuck down using PVA. You can see I've started dotting some of the gravestones around. Um, if you're going for an older uh, church sort of look. Um, that might not necessarily be in nice neat rows, be all over the place. But uh, I'm just going to carry on putting a few of these gravestones in. So I've got the scale model scenery ones here. So it's just a little bit of PVA on the bottom. I'm just going to stick them in. You can see these ones here, there's all sorts of shapes. There's crosses, headstones with crosses. I also have some of them laying down on the ground. You know, sort of disused, or not disused, but uh, you know, abandoned graves that there's no one there to care for them anymore. The gravestones may have fallen into disrepair. So I'm going to carry on doing this now, putting a few more in, just see how it looks. I put a few graves about the place. I've also put in these seafoam trees. I've put them with red on them, so they represent yew trees. Uh, traditionally, yew trees would have been planted in churchyards. The idea behind them is that they're toxic to cattle and sheep, so it would keep um, cattle and sheep out of the graveyard. So most old churchyards you go to, you'll find yew trees growing in them. So I'm going to put a few bushes around the place. A few bits of colour with flowers and that, just to finish it off. So I'll come back to that in a minute. There's the churchyard, more or less complete. Um, I've added the trees, the gravestones. I've used some of the Woodland Scenic's bushes and coarse turf to blend some areas in. Um, I've used some of the tufts, which I've made before. I'll link the video to that down below. And what I've done with these is I peeled them off and actually just cut them up using a sharp scalpel into smaller sections just to put flowers on the graves as you can see here. So uh, I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, I'm going to do some more walling coming along here and do something about the footpath. Uh, I need to get some gates as well to complete the walling but uh, that will do for now. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.